Hey everybody, this is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your weekly psychic forecast. This is going to take you from Wednesday to Wednesday, okay? The next seven days, that way we have a good chunk of the week behind us, and we're going to get to see what the what the rest of the week holds, the weekend, and in through the beginning of next week. I think Wednesday to Wednesday is a nice round kind of thing. Gives us uh, to the middle of the week, right? And that way we're not taken by surprise on Monday morning, and we're not uh, disappointed on Sunday evening, okay? <laughs> so we're going to go from Wednesday to Wednesday, the next seven days. This is something that I began doing on my channel because I do it for my radio show, but the radio show changed their format, which totally screwed up my mojo. Um, and now it's back to the original format. So now I'm back to doing the weekly psychic forecast for the radio show, and I'm going to do it for you guys as well. Of course, this is a just listen, okay? There's nothing to see here. Just, just listen, okay? All right. Here we go. We're starting with Aries and going all the way through to Pisces. This is your weekly psychic forecast for the week of the week of July 24th to July 31st, okay? All right, here we go. Aries, you open up this week with the Eight of Cups, feeling disappointed and withdrawn. The number eight is about movement, action, change, and rebirth. So despite your feelings of disappointment and a lost opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Temperance comes in and says that there will be a realignment of values in this situation. There will be some self-healing that will transpire, and it will bring you into the energy of the Princess of Pentacles, manifesting a new opportunity. The Wheel of Fortune presents itself as good luck and a turning point in your life to the world card telling you that this cycle is complete and personal closure will shortly follow. Movement, action, change, and a rebirth is the energy of your week, Aries. Taurus, Taurus, you begin the week in the energy of the Seven of Pentacles. Seven is about reflection, assessment, seeking out motivations, spirituality, observation, investigation, discovery, and knowledge. You are expressing the energy of the Seven of Pentacles in the Hermit card. The Hermit card is about soul searching and introspection, seeking some inner guidance because the Princess of Cups is a messenger of creating a new beginning and she finds follows the hermit, being that somebody is bringing you a message of creating a new beginning. The lover's card follows and tells me that this is a message. This is a message of a new beginning from someone or something that you have tangled with in the past because it's in reverse and it's meaning disharmony and an imbalance or a misalignment of values in a very important relationship in your life. The Queen of Pentacles follows. This is your energy, Taurus, Earth energy. And the Queen of Pentacles represents this messenger's desire to build something stable with you. This is followed by the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your home, in your life, in your relationships, to the Two of Cups, which represents unified love and or partnerships. The Prince of Swords is the communication coming in the form of the Princess of Cups, this message of a new beginning, followed by the Princess of Swords, which is you formulating a decision-making process in regards to this offer to create a new beginning. It's followed by the Six of Cups, which represents someone or something from your past having a desire to reunite or reconcile your differences. The Chariot follows, which is a card of action, to the Ace of Wands, which is creating an inspired, powerful new beginning. The energy of your week, Taurus, is seven, reflection, assessment, and observation, investigation, discovery, and knowledge, because that's what you're being faced with when it comes to accepting or rejecting the offer of the Princess of Cups, the creation of a new beginning in a very important relationship tied to someone from your past. Gemini, you open your week with the Prince of Pentacles, surveying the landscape of your life. 
The Tower card tells me that you've had a major revelation and awakening about the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, limited success or reward in a particular situation in your life. Six of Swords says that you need to make a regretful but necessary transition into calmer waters, followed by the Five of Pentacles, which says that this transition of the Six of Swords is going to take you out of feelings of insecurity, worry, or financial loss. The card of justice comes in and says that this transition is the only way to bring justice to the situation. Two of Wands tells me that you need to make some decisions about your future, followed by the King of Cups relaying that these decisions for your future will be made with emotional balance and control because the Strength card comes in and says that it won't be easy, but you do have the inner strength to follow through. To the Ten of Wands, the struggle, the burden has an accomplishment at the end. And finally, to the Ten of Swords, this tells me that you're bringing something to finality, a final ending. Gemini, the energy for your week is about balance, a crossroads, choices, partnerships, and agreements. Cancer, you open this week with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This Eight of Pentacles in reverse is about lacking ambition or focus. To the Prince of Swords, which is a card about taking action. To the card of Judgment, which is about making a decision. To the Six of Pentacles in reverse, because there is some selfishness, some one-sided selfishness that is inhibiting the harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your relationship represented by the Ten of Cups, followed by the Magician in reverse. This is about manipulation to the Eight of Cups, which tells me you have feelings of disappointment and withdrawal. The Hangman is you pausing, processing, contemplating. The King of Swords in reverse the manipulation that is going on around you in this relationship this week. The world card follows the King of Swords and tells me that you are completing a cycle. The tower tells me that you have had a revelation, an awakening about the, the, the one-sided selfishness and manipulation that is happening in some relationship in your life this week. In regards to the Two of Cups, which is a love or a partnership type relationship. Leo, you open this week with the Princess of Wands, followed by the Three of Swords. The Princess of Wands tells me that you have discovered something, and the Three of Swords tells me that it has created sorrow, heartbreak, grief, and or rejection in regards to the Lover's Card, which is a very important relationship in your life. The Queen of Wands tells me that you're very determined to the Moon card and the Princess of Swords to get to the bottom of some kind of deception, illusion, or secrets. The Empress in reverse says that you have put a block on the creation of anything new in this relationship until you can figure out what's going on with the Two of Swords. The Knight of Cups in, reserve, in reverse tells me that there was once, that there was once, there was once, an exchange of emotion here, but now it's a sense of being unrealistic, okay? Being unrealistic. There's now dissatisfaction with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, there's now dissatisfaction in the relationship, and the Nine of Pentacles tells me that you're going to bring the entire situation to a culmination in order to regain security, control, and power in your life with the King of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords tells me that by the end of the week, you have some absolute mental clarity, a mental breakthrough, with the Ten of Swords telling me that that mental clarity is you putting something to an end end. This Ten of Swords is about being backstabbed, defeated, crisis, betrayal, endings, and loss. Leo, your energy this week is the Princess of Wands, 
exploration and discovery of whatever this shady behavior is that's going on in some kind of relationship in your life. Virgo, you enter this week in pursuit of the Ten of Pentacles, wealth, family, and or establishment in your life. The chariot says that you will take some action to create a new beginning and a new journey all on your own because with the Queen of Swords in reverse, somebody is denying you the security, control, power, and abundance that you crave with the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords tells me that there is perhaps backstabbing, defeat, crisis, betrayal um, in a situation that you are going to bring to an end. The Two of Pentacles in reverse following this Ten of Swords tells me that there is disorganization and instability within the collaboration of this relationship in your life. King of Swords says that you're going to make a decision to end this cycle with the world card and take inspired action to create a new beginning because with the sun in reverse, you're not very optimistic that there can ever be emotional stability returned to this relationship. As you survey the landscape of your life with the Prince of Pentacles and contemplate abundance with the Empress, wishes fulfilled with the Nine of Cups, this same person is bringing in an energy of ruthlessness with the King of Wands in reverse that makes you have a lack of faith in the relationship because of despair with the Star card in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles says that you will be bringing a culmination to the situation. The moon card tells me that there's secrets or illusion attached to someone that is restricting your personal growth with the devil card. The high priestess says after you sit down with your intuition and your subconscious mind, you're going to free yourself with, you're going to free yourself from this commitment with the hierophant in reverse in order to bring balance, fairness, and truth to the situation with the justice card. Libra, you open this reading with a desire to have a new start in regards to feelings for someone from the past. The Ace of Cups tell me that you tells me that you have overwhelming emotion after the Tower card brings you some kind of revelation or awakening about your desire to create harmony, happiness, and values alignment with the Ten of Cups through reuniting or reconciling with someone from your past with the Six of Cups. However, the Four of Pentacles in reverse tells me you are in a self-protection energy and the Two of Pentacles in reverse tells me that this relationship is disorganized and imbalanced. Obviously, right? Because you're looking to reunite or reconcile. The Seven of Cups tells me that you have choices, options, and decisions to make in regards to this relationship. And the Ten of Wands explains that you would like to end the burden and the struggle that has been between the two of you. The Moon card illustrates your subconscious mind and your intuition to the Nine of Swords being anxiety and despair about the Princess of Swords and the Prince of Swords, both being communication that has been exchanged between you and this person that you would like to reunite with that caused the initial Three of Swords pain, sorrow, grief, and heartbreak. The Three of Wands tells me that you are preparing to communicate. The Eight of Wands is the card of communication and an active shift in energy. It's followed by the King of Cups. So you are preparing to communicate your feelings here, Libra. The King of Wands in reverse tells me that you are concerned about the high expectations of the other person involved in this relationship. And the Star card in reverse tells me that you are deeply disconnected from this person at the time. The Seven of Wands tells me that this is a challenge. And the Knight of Wands tells me that you feel, Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands in reverse tells me that you feel defensive in regards to what happened between the two of you. The Prince of Wands says that you would like to take passionate action towards victory, progress, and success 
with the Six of Wands. And the Prince of Cups says that you'd like to be the knight in shining armor to this person from your past. The Hierophant in reverse says you are reconsidering your personal beliefs in this situation. And the Princess of Wands says that you have done some discovery and some exploration in regards to your feelings about this person. The Sun card tells me that you're beginning to see things clearly and have some optimism because Justice also tells me that you have spoken a personal truth to yourself about the Princess of Pentacles manifesting a new opportunity in this situation where you feel with the Nine of Cups your wishes could be fulfilled. Death comes in and says that there will be a transformation of this relationship to the Eight of Pentacles engaging with one another to the Six of Pentacles giving and receiving. The Wheel says that this will be a turning point in the relationship and the Ace of Swords confirms that you have absolute mental clarity about the direction that you are going to go. Scorpio, Scorpio, you open this week with the card of judgment. This is a major decision that creates a rebirth in the trajectory of your life. The Prince of Pentacles tells me that you are surveying the landscape of your life and the Five of Wands says that you're coming out of conflict and having an increased focus on your goals. To the Three of Wands, preparing and the Ace of Swords because of some kind of absolute mental clarity in regards to the Two of Pentacles in reverse about some disorganization that has been in your life. The Nine of Pentacles tells me you're about to bring the entire situation to a culmination with the Strength card saying it won't be easy, but it's necessary and you do have the strength to handle this situation. The Five of Pentacles tells me that you are leaving somebody out in the cold in order to take inspired action with the Prince of Wands towards what you see as purpose in your life with this Temperance card. The purpose in your life is the Emperor, the establishment and structure of your life in regards to a Two of Cups unified love relationship or a partnership. Because the Sun card tells me that you're beginning to see clearly what will really make you happy, what will really bring success, vitality to your life. The Seven of Cups is about choices that you will be making and the Four of Wands about the structure, foundation, and stability in your life. To the Ten of Cups, the harmony, happiness, and values alignment in your home and in your relationship. The Three of Cups tells me that you're headed in the direction of reuniting and or celebrating with another, followed by the Lover's card. Any love, any love situation, I'm sorry, followed by, I'm reading this obviously because I can't do them all this quick, right? So reuniting or celebrating with another, and this is followed by the Lover's card, a love situation. The Eight of Wands says that you will be taking action to the King of Swords to make a decision because the Tower card has created a revelation and an awakening in your belief system. To the Justice card, this is your understanding that the uh, your, this is your understanding of a personal truth, the revelation and the awakening about your belief system. To the Hierophant, this revelation and this awakening that was brought to you by the Tower card is concluded with the Fool card that says you will begin to take a you will you will be taking a new beginning and a new journey in your life this week. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you open this week with a transition in the Six of Swords to the Five of Cups in reverse, manifesting forgiveness to the Four of Cups in reverse, recovering a lost opportunity. The Three of Cups tells me that you want to reunite with someone and Temperance says that there has been some self-healing in this situation. The Six of Cups reiterates reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past and the Emperor says that you see this as an opportunity to create establishment and structure in your life. The Prince of Cups tells me that you would like to be the knight in shining armor to this person from your past, or this person from your past wants to be your knight in shining armor. 
Death comes in and says there will be a transformation of a love relationship as clarified by the lover's card. Two of Pentacles tells me that there will be balance and prioritization because now you have some absolute mental clarity with the Ace of Swords of what the challenge was in the first place in the past with the Seven of Wands. You'd like to begin to incorporate this new relationship into your future with the Two of Wands, and the Ten of Swords tells me that you'd like to regenerate and recover something that you thought was dead and gone. The Six of Pentacles says that you want to give and receive and share with this person. The Hermit tells me that you've done some soul searching and some introspection about the situation to the Ace of Pentacles, and now you want to manifest a new opportunity in this situation. The wheel says that this is a turning point in the relationship and in your life. The princess of wands tells me that you're ready to begin to explore and discover a new relationship with this person with a sense of enthusiasm to the two of cups, unified love relationship and the fool card, a brand new beginning and a brand new journey between the two of you. Capricorn. Capricorn, you open this week with the justice card and an extreme sense of justice where there was unfairness, there is now fairness, and where there was a lack of accountability, there is now accountability. Truth has been spoken. With celebration in the Three of Cups, giving and receiving with the Six of Pentacles in a unified love relationship or partnership um, with the Two of Cups. Followed by the Princess of Wands being a great sense of excitement and enthusiasm as the World card tells us that a cycle is about to begin. After much contemplation and reevaluation with the Four of Cups, you're about to move into a state of elevated commitment with the Hierophant. The moon card tells me that you have searched your intuition and your subconscious mind. The eight of swords tells me that you have thought and thought and rethought about this particular situation and temperance is the result. The, te the, the temperance is the result. The result being that you see this as the purpose for your life in this particular juncture. The Ten of Cups says that you have concluded that this commitment will bring harmony, happiness, and values alignment into your life. And the Ace of Pentacles says that you're manifesting this brand new opportunity. The Tower card tells us that this brings a positive form of sudden change through a very serious awakening in your feelings as represented by the King of Cups, bringing emotional balance and control and security into your life. Congratulations. Congratulations, Capricorn. This sounds amazing. Aquarius, you come into this week in the energy of the Hermit card, doing some soul searching and some introspection, seeking some inner guidance because you feel very insecure with the Four of Pentacles because there's options and choices and decisions that you need to make with the Seven of Cups. The Princess of Wands reiterates this, saying that you're doing some exploration and some discovery. The Five of Swords tells me that you are in a lot of conflict, and the Seven of Wands tells me that you feel challenged and guarded in regards to your personal security, represented by the King of Pentacles, when it comes to preparing to embark upon a new cycle with the world card and the three of wands. The justice card tells me that you have yet to come, I'm sorry, the justice card tells me that you have come to a personal truth about an emperor situation, the establishment and the structure of your life after a revelation and an awakening with the tower card to the seven of swords telling me that you're breaking free from mental challenges and are making decisions with the King of Swords to create the Ten of Pentacles in your life. The Ten of Pentacles being the security and the foundation that you're after. The Princess of Swords is formulating a decision-making process to move towards the Sun card, success, vitality, and happiness. And last but not least, 
Pisces. You enter this week with the Four of Pentacles, feeling self-protective about taking any action with the Chariot card regarding a love relationship represented by the Lover's card, where there is an offer to create an inspired new beginning with the Ace of Wands, to create something of substance with the Ten of Pentacles. Temperance comes in and says that you are displaying temperance, balance, patience, purpose, and moderation in this situation to the Four of Cups while you contemplate and reevaluate and seek some personal truth with the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Cups tells me that you're withdrawing to the Strength card, pulling on some inner strength because the Seven of Cups says you have decisions, options, and choices to make about reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past where there may be a sense of illusion. Things are just not clear. The Six of Swords says that this potential transition in the, it brings in feelings of enthusiasm to the Princess of Cups, but you're being presented with a message to create a new beginning to the Queen of Pentacles that might be able to create some security in your life. But the Nine of Wands tells me that you're feeling on edge and defensive, hesitant to fully embrace the Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity to reunite and reconcile. The Seven of Pentacles comes in and talks about reflection, assessment, observation, investigation, discovery, and knowledge. So Pisces, your week begins with a lot of thinking and your week is ending with a lot of thinking as well as to whether or not you want a new beginning with reunion and reconciliation. And there you go. That is your weekly psychic forecast from Dana at Deep Thoughts with Dana. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at the link in the box below, or you can go straight to deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.